Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are doing an oldie but a goodie again. Um, this is a cute, a cute little envelope and I found it in my stash and I thought, oh, why haven't I done some more of these? I've used them all up. So if you have a little craft card envelope, which, you know, they're about 11 and a half, centimeters by nine and that's about three and a half inches by four and a half inches so they're nice and little and then I also had these a little packet of these tiny little brown craft paper bags which are cute and they're about four and a half bit over four and a half by about seven so you get an idea of the size but any brown paper bag would do this happens to be almost the same width and as you can see from this one I did a long time ago that's the envelope part there and the actual the actual uh, top of the flap comes to there so all this person who invented this wonderful thing did was put a bit of brown paper on the inside of the flap to bring it down level with the bottom and then the, I think the most cleverest thing about this which makes it a bit different is that they put a hole in it and I've just I've just got a pin in that but you put a bulb pin or anything and because the holes relatively close to the edge you can have it pinned in or onto something and still be able to open the flap all the way so I think that they're fun I think that they're very very useful you don't have to have the hole in the top but in the right situation if you want something a little bit different I think these are I think these are really good so all we're going to do I mean this is going to be another five minute <laughs> five minute tutorial I'm going to pop that in there like that to get the length and then I'm just going to tear it off. Like so. Now all I need to do is just, uh, I've got two pieces there now, one for the next time. Okay. So we've got one, use that for something else, and we've got two. So this one's, that one's pretty cute and it's about perfect, isn't it? So there we have it. All I'm going to do, I maybe just cut I'll tear a little bit off the edge to make it exactly the right width. And the rustic, you know, the, the rougher the bit, well not rough, but you know what I mean. Um, jagged, that's the word. Jagged. Authentically jagged, how's that? And then I, I'm going to I'm going to tear the tear the bottom haphazardly to give it more visual interest, and also to show that it is a it is a flap. Right. So all I'm going to do now is just glue that there. Cover this with the glue. And because it's craft card, I'm definitely using the art glitter glue because um, this this paper is pretty pretty thick. There we go. Voila! Ta-da! <laughs> and there we have this really cute 
little envelope and I really like that and all you need to do then is to just decorate it up and I've, I've done this one as a botanical I've even got some faux washi tape uh, some faux antique looking I don't know if you can see that but sticky tape just some Tracy Fox labels, Tim Holtz butterfly. I, I pretty much I pretty much just found some nice papers. Oh yes, those leaves. They oh they're incredible. Susan Susan Brown, Susan Brown. I think it's Susan Brown. Right, so that's it. And then all you're going to do then is put a hole in the top. the middle I'm guessing pretty close to the edge oh boy oh I've got no strength wow okay I'm gonna get my crop it all right there we go one hole right there that you can then put a bulb pin in and I mean you could put a metal eyelet on that just to finish it off and decorate it so I think that has its place in the world of little envelopes. I don't know who invented it, but it's so cool. Right, so go forth. <laughs> Create and put your own spin on it. I hope you enjoyed the little envelope. I don't know even what you'd call it, but isn't it adorable? Okay, I'll see you in the next one. These, I've wanted, I want to say they're forgotten envelopes and forgotten ephemera. But they're fantastic to have in your stash and particularly good for anybody new to junk journaling. Um, they're a great place to start. You'll, you won't regret having these little babies in your stash. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.